Hi guys, today we're proud to share a quick demonstration of a new feature of the Gizmo platform. We've just released support for webhooks. Now, webhooks are an awesome way to get your apps to talk to each other. So for the case of Gizmo, whenever someone plays a game and then submits a form at the end of the game, you can pass that data over into whatever tools that you're already using for the rest of your operations. So someone submits the form at the end of the game, and then that can be sent directly into a spreadsheet, a CRM, an email marketing software, or whatever really. So right now I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with adding webhooks into your existing game campaigns. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Zapier, which is a great tool that lets your apps talk to thousands of other web apps that are publicly available on the internet. Although you can use any other third party tool which supports webhooks or even your own custom web server. In this demo, whenever someone plays the Pi Attack game and completes the form at the end of the game, then we want to pass that data over into a brand new Google Sheet. So to get started using Zapier, jump into Zapier and hit Create Zap. And what you're going to do for this first step is set up a webhook as the triggering event. And the second event will be a Google Sheet. And so within Google Sheets, we want to create a new spreadsheet row. Once you've set that up, then go into the set up a trigger tab and copy the custom webhook URL. Jump back over to Gizmo for a second and you can simply paste in your callback URL here. Within this section, you can select what data that you want to pass through and also what additional game data. So the uh, the score and the time played on the game. If you've got additional fields, these will be pulled through automatically and you'll be able to select those as information that you'd like to pass through. Now we can do a quick demo on the game and pass some data through to the webhook. So I'll just try and finish the game as quickly as possible. There we go, it didn't last long, okay. So I'll just fill out a quick demo lead. Great, now if we go back to the Zapier account, we can open up the test triggers, hit load more, and you can see that one demo that we just submitted has just been passed through. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Now we can start manipulating the spreadsheet as well. So once you've selected what um, spreadsheet that you're linking things up to, all you need to do is set up the action which is going to be what spreadsheet you're using and the fields that you're passing things through to. So the one thing to mention as well is that for this spreadsheet, you're going to need to pass through the names of the fields that you're expecting within um, the game that's being played. So for this, we've just got name, email and score. Pretty simple for the sake of the demonstration. So we've linked these up here and now it's ready to go ahead and just do a quick test. And if we jump on over, we can see that's passed through. So that goes ahead and completes the demonstration. To wrap things up though, you just simply hit turn on zap and that's going to link up to your account and be live for whenever someone completes a game, uh, then that information is going to be passed through. Now this example really only scratches the surface with the capabilities of webhooks. Obviously, you can go a lot more advanced and link things up to things like an email marketing tool or a CRM, which has been requested a lot in the past. So that's about it for the demonstration. If you've got any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We're here to help and would love to help you on your journey for getting your games up and running. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.